All right, tell us who you are. My name is Rick Bailey. Okay, Rick. Um, how was it you found out about Dave? Well, one day I was cruising around on YouTube and I typed in survival, and Dave was one of the first people that popped up. I've always been into the outdoors. Mm -hmm. I know some survival stuff, but I'm not like I want to get really good at the, the details. So. Mm -hmm. I click on some of Dave's videos and I start watching them and I'm like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, he really and does. He, he really, he has a grasp on it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so it inspired me to start working on this stuff. You know? Very cool. <laughs> and uh, now what is it that drew you to Dave? His personality, he's, he's very giving, he's laid back, he doesn't have that, I got something to prove. Mm -hmm. He's... You know, you, you take the fact that he's a sniper, he doesn't talk about it. Yeah. You know, he, doesn't, he very seldom mentions it, so he doesn't have an ego. Yeah, and yeah. And I like that. I mean, whether it's martial arts or bushcraft or whatever you're learning, if a person's got an ego that's kind of repelled, yep. he doesn't have an ego, he's approachable. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, he's approachable, you know. Yep. At first, when I got here, I was like, oh, I can't believe it. I'm here, Dave's here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it was so exciting to be able to walk up and talk to him. It, it says a lot. It's pretty right? mind-blowing. Even, <laughs> even now he's big time, you know, uh -huh. he's still approachable. He's still Dave. Yep. And nothing's changed. Yep. So that's that's an awesome experience. Um, now, what is it you've learned from Dave? Well, uh, I've learned a lot about bow making this last weekend here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've learned you just don't give up. Um, I found that every time I try something new, mm -hmm. I have a problem with patience. Yeah. So I'll get I'll get to where I have a kind of an understanding and I kind of relax a little bit and start to start to become patient but mm -hmm. when you try something new then you're impatient again. That, yep. At least that's how it works for me. Yep. And uh, I'd say patience, uh, intestinal fortitude, you know it's it's a lot of hard work. I've been working on this bow I don't know how many hours but over the course of the last three days and I'm just itching to get it done. <laughs> I want to shoot it before I leave here. I, I hope I hope they get to shoot it before I leave here. Yeah. So. Now, uh, in your own words, what does it mean to you to be a pathfinder? To be a pathfinder is uh, I don't know. That's that's a hard one. Uh, it's being able to to provide for yourself, to provide for your family. It's learning the skills that hopefully someday you won't have to use. Mm -hmm. It's not so much just going out into the woods. It's I mean, some of this stuff. I mean, I, I live kind of right up against. Uh, I live. <laughs> I live kind of right up close to. Uh, we got oaks and rolling hills, and it's all dry. Mm -hmm. um, but I live in the Bay Area, so it's in California. So it's a little, little hard to do a lot of what we do here. Yep. Uh, as far as making fires, I do that in my backyard. Yeah. But what? Uh, um, it applies still. I mean, I, I get deer that walk right into my back door. I mean, love my tomato plants. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the attention to detail, the, the thinking, there's so much to some bad Yeah. you got to really pay, not just attention to the big details, but you got to focus on the little details. I'm yeah. doing this with the bow. It's just like that little area. you got to focus on it, and it comes up just a little, you know? Yep. That's what it is. It's the details. It's it's camaraderie. It's always camaraderie. Anytime you get a group of people together that have a common interest, mm -hmm. you get you get that sense of brotherhood. All right. Last but not least, man. This is uh, if you'd like to say thank you to Dave. Here's your opportunity. Hey, Dave. You're awesome, man. Thank <laughs> you, man. All right. Tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Chuck Boyd with uh, American Kukri and Survival Company. Okay. Thanks for helping us today, Chuck. Um, how is it that you uh, found out or met Dave? It's kind of funny actually, um, doing a lot of surfing around on the internet and found uh, some dude that was cutting down a tree with a Tom Brown tracker knife, <laughs> making a bow and talking about, uh, you know, how the one knife was one knife that uh, you can take out in the woods and do just about anything with. Didn't really excel at everything, but could basically get you by on, on quite a few things. Um, didn't put two and two together. I actually met uh, Dave uh, oh, several months later at uh, Columbus Gun Show at mm -hmm. Vince Memorial. And, uh, you know, I'd started a kukri business. And at that time, I was real small. It was only a year ago. You know, I had three knives on me. And I kind of swaggered up to Dave's table as he was trying to sell a knife to, to some one of, probably one of our Pathfinder brothers here. Uh -huh. 
and uh, I just kind of slapped one down. I said, now here's the type of knife that you need. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how we met. Cool. So uh, what is it in, uh, that you've learned from Dave? You know, the biggest thing that I've learned is, is uh, keep learning, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a rough uh, four years for me, and, uh, you know, I kind of, you know, what, what Dave shows is uh, just basically a mentality that there's always a way to figure something out. Yep. Uh, no matter what your situation is, uh, whether it's uh, you know being without a job for a while, or uh, uh, you know finding yourself in a, uh, a wilderness self-reliance or survival type situation, mm -hmm. that uh, you know as long as you stay calm and use your brain, you can usually figure your way out of it. And that's that's uh, yeah, that's probably the, the biggest thing that sticks with me. Okay. Now, in your own words, what does it mean to you to be a pathfinder? Oh wow, that's a tough one. Um, it's really like a brotherhood, really. Uh, you know, just a, a group of guys that you can turn to for advice, information. Uh, people that are both learning what you're trying to learn, or have already learned what you're trying to learn, or, or that are trying to learn what you've already learned, and uh, just being able to be there and help each other out, support each other through, uh, you know, even if it's just uh, you know, verbally or whatever, because you can't be there physically. Uh, just knowing that there's other people out there either like you or in the same, same situation, or at least going through things that you've gone through or, or vice versa. Yep. And uh, last but not least, this is uh, your opportunity to say thanks, so uh, go right ahead. Hey, Dave, thanks. All right, tell us who you are. I am Joe Flowers, here for Condor Knife and Tool in the general interest of machetes worldwide. <laughs> Damn right. Now, uh, how is it you uh, found out or met or heard about Dave? Um, I saw him on YouTube a mm -hmm. lot, and um, he had a machete modification tutorial that, of course, caught my attention. But before yep. that, I've been following a bit on uh, um, on YouTube, and then yep. when I heard about Dual Survival, I was pretty excited. They was working with Cody. Yeah, yeah, and for I sure. Thought it was going to be interesting to see how that turned out, and it has been. Proven. Yeah, it has been. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So, uh, what is it exactly that drew you to Dave, other than his shared love for machetes? <laughs> oh man, he's he's not uh, cocky. Uh -huh. You know, he's approachable despite you know his status right now. Don't let it get to your head, Dave. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's really really nice seeing people that still enjoy talking about just stuff rather than oh I don't have time for this right now or things yeah. like that. You know, and he's sitting down and enjoying himself here. You can tell it's not stressful like it would be for other people. So it's pretty yeah. neat. And in your time, um, you know, in your association with Dave, what is it you've learned from him? Um, just definitely how, how to appreciate other people, you know, appreciate everybody that's been here working with him. He mentions Critter a lot, you know, he talks about his wife a lot, so it's good that he's able to say that about other people. It's, it's really nice. Yep, no doubt. So uh, in your words, in your own words, what is it to you to be a Pathfinder? Um, just staying true to yourself, probably, yep. and having fun. Having fun cutting stuff, basically. About that. <laughs> There's something to take home for you. Okay, well that's it for the hard stuff. But if you'd uh, if you'd like to say thanks to Dave, here's your opportunity. Dave, thanks. I haven't had an opportunity to take one of your classes yet. I'm actually going to go run to it right now. But uh, I can't wait. Thank you so much for putting this on, and I hope to see you either out herping with some snakes or on TV not cutting your foot open with a machete, which would be nice.